time, to be honest, Darren. <laughs> there we go. I hope he scores. And Joe, after, after scoring the earlier yeah. goal, getting the team back in it, having a really good game. Nice one to finish that off in a positive way. Full of confidence, won't he? Well, he strikes the ball really well. He's a confident lad. He's a bubbly boy down at Finch Farm. And here comes Joe Williams with the first penalty for Everton. And it's saved by the goalkeeper. Joe Williams took it to the goalkeeper's right. It's a decent save, was it? It's an incredible save. It really did. Hit it hard, hit it low. It's a full stretch, the goalkeeper. And quite often you say when a penalty is missed, it's a poor penalty, but nine times out of ten, that'll find the back of the goal. Yeah. Good save. Second penalty for the shootout, and it's uh, Duke Aguirre. So the two goal scorers in the main 90 minutes have stepped forward for the first penalty. Duke Aguirre found the net in the first half. Jonas Lawson looks the picture of concentration. He's a big keeper, he fills the goal. Duke Aguirre with his right foot will take the first penalty for the Cariobangi Sharks Jonas Lossel on his debut oh it's high it's high it's high it's well over the crossbar and uh, he won't look back on that with any pride that's finished where my penalties used to finish isn't it <laughs> it's disappointing for both of those players who've yeah. just stepped up first having scored the goals in the game that's sailed over Johnny Wilkinson would have been proud of that one. Yeah, I've seen the disappointment. Here we go. Nathan Broadhead. Who had a decent game, Oz? Yeah, he did. Press of evening's work. Here we go. Nathan Broadhead. Confident young man. Scored twice for the 23s against Liverpool at Anfield last season. Forward he comes. Right-footed. Goal. Sends the keeper their own way. Good penalty. Good goal. And Everton lead by one goal to nil in the penalty shootout. And Nathan Broadhead did as you expected, Ozzy, and took that away smashing. Great penalty. Hard, pretty low, but he had a Oof. real stick. To, he looked like he was going one way and yeah. went the other. Real, uh, a real good eye there. Mm. Send the goalkeeper the wrong way. Impressive penalty. Advantage to Everton. Forward comes Jeffrey Lemu for... Carrier Bangi Sharks. Jonas Lossel was a spectator for the first penalty kick from the hosts. Jeffrey Limu will hope to do significantly better. Is he taking the rubber? Standing over the ball. Yes, he is. A measured run-up, no less. And this is interesting. And it worked. <laughs> and he celebrates, doesn't he celebrate? <laughs> Jeffrey Lumu scores for the Cariobangi Sharks and uh, makes it 1-1. One -one. Well, he enjoyed that, didn't he? Didn't he just? <laughs> it's a real good penalty in the end. His, uh, his routine was somewhat unusual, <laughs> both before and after uh, he, he'd scored the penalty, but uh, see how much it means. <laughs> Here comes Josh Bowler for Everton. He's been told to place the ball back on the penalty spot. Here we go, left foot of Josh Bowler. It's one apiece. It's not now. 2-1 for Everton. I'm not sure he struck it as well as he wanted to, Ozzy, but he found the back of the net. I think he'd done exactly what he wanted to himself, but to be honest, Darren, he yeah. allowed the goalkeeper to dive out the way and just passed it right down the centre. Mm, just passed it hard, passed it low. Yeah, Let nice the goalkeeper penalty. make his dive. Having seen the two previous penalties, seeing how far the goalkeeper prepared to dive. Very intelligent penalty. 2-1 for Everton. Third penalty taker for Carrier Bangi Sharks is Sven Yida. And 
all standing on seats and everything in front of us. I'll have to stand up myself to see this penalty. Sven Yida. 12 yards. Takes a long run up at this. Has a long look at it. Jonas Lossel. Watched the first one. Missed the second one. Oh, it's in off the post. Another, another unusual run up. <laughs> I thought, I said, oh, no, he has. I think he's done his hamstring then, but... Uh, it means a lot to them, doesn't it? Great stuff. <laughs> See, they've been working on their celebrations more than anything else for this game. They just sneak in off the post. Good penalty. Any penalty that finds the back yeah. of the goal is a good one. Keepers don't really say that. Benny Beningham, no. seemed to enjoy his celebration <laughs> there, didn't he? There's the big man, Fraser Hornby. It's getting tight now. Any miss now could be very costly. You miss an early penalty, there's plenty of time to recover. You miss now, there's not a great deal of time. Fraser Hornby, the booms are ringing round the Casarani Stadium. Will Fraser Hornby be bothered by them? Not one shot. Back of the net, good penalty. 3 2 Everton. Yeah, it's been some good confident penalties by yeah. these young men. Stepping up. Did exactly the same, allowed the goalkeeper to dive out the way, passed it right down the middle. Give the goalkeeper something to think about that for the last penalty. Yeah. Yeah, really stand his ground. 3 2 for Everton. I'm stood on that halfway line now, I'd be starting to panic that number six <laughs> and seven could possibly be used. <laughs> well, Dennis Dean volunteered, but we haven't seen him yet. We've got uh, number nine for. Carrier Bangi Sharks, George Abigi came on as a second half substitute, the big centre forward. And this is a big unit, isn't he? George Abigi. Fourth penalty for the Sharks. And he puts it in the bottom corner, and that's his celebration. They have been working on the celebration, as you quite right. He goes for the uh, nine iron celebration. Three or one each left is Dennis Adinovic. Well, he wanted one shot. Now is your chance to step up and show his work. Good penalty, that was it. It was hard, low. Well placed, definitely. At the, apart from the first one that we're still looking for, they've all been well placed. Now then, Dennis Adinovic. For Everton. young man it's saved it's a really good save by the goalkeeper Dennis Adinarin didn't take that much of a run up he seemed to strike it well enough but Brian Breeder has made a really good save and it really is advantage Cario Bangui Sharks because if they scored the next penalty they are the sports pace of trophy winners does it Full stretch for the goalkeeper. Save, isn't it? Just a nice height for him, though. That's the thing. As he got over there, terrific save. Deserves a lot of credit for, for pushing that round the post. I think he's going to take the last penalty, Ozzy. <laughs> he's doing a Jordan Pickford. Brian Buire. He's not content with being the uh, goalkeeping hero. He wants to stick one away himself. Well, the sports pace a trophy. Could be over in a matter of seconds. Jonas Lossel against his opposite number, Brian Guida. The way to our left-hand side. Here we go, the referee's whistle has gone. Brian Guida, the goalkeeper. All oh, right in the top corner. What a penalty from the goalkeeper. Nothing Jonas Lossel could do. The cheers tell the story. Carrier Bangi Sharks have upset the odds and have won the Sports Pacer Trophy. But, Leon Osman, we've enjoyed the game. We have been a competitive game. Yes, you never want to lose anything, any trophy you're going for, any game you're going for. But, uh, the aim of today's game is to get fitness, get those players out there, get minutes under their belt. Uh, Marco Silva certainly managed to do that for his team. Some of those young players came in and you know, asked a question for the manager there. I think they had reasonably good second halves. Certainly, they'll want to be looked at again by the manager moving forward. But from an Everton point of view, move on to the next game I to say for the uh, Carabanki Sharks terrific achievement for them you know, to have not only won the sport